Hello friends, it's Odie here. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope you're all doing well. So this is part two of my Waterton travel vlog. It's the following day and we're just gonna jump right into it. Good morning. So I thought I would just show you, well no, I said I would show you what was in my makeup travel bag. So I'm gonna do it today. Today is Wednesday, so we are going to check out, uh, what time is it? I think it's like almost 10. Uh, and checkouts at 11 will probably leave before then but uh, but yeah anyways this is what I brought in my makeup travel bag so uh, this makeup brush pouch this is uh, from BH Cosmetics and these are the brushes I bought kind of like the basics actually I didn't have to bring this one this is a powder brush I just I don't know why I stuck it in there but yeah those are the brushes I bought um, I have a blush setting powder for under my eyes uh, I bought this highlighter. I just use this to highlight my inner corner and brow bone. Lip chap, lip chap, <laughs> chapstick. Some sponge tip applicators. Uh, a little sponge for applying my concealer, eyeliner, highlighter, brow products. Some lip gloss, lipsticks, mascaras, and this palette. This is the Sun Blazing Palette from Flower Beauty. Um, this is nice. I like it. Uh, I'll show you my eye look in a minute here, but uh, it's a nice drugstore palette. At first, I was unsure if I thought the price was worth it. It's $24 Canadian, and it is a drugstore palette, but to be honest, drugstore makeup is a little bit pricey now, so yeah, I don't know. I'm rambling now. Let's move on. <laughs> I'll show you my eye look. Okay, so I'm standing in front of the window, so hopefully you guys can see uh, my face really well. Can you see my face? <laughs> um, so this is my eye makeup. Excuse the really light concealer. Um, I went a little, oh, thank you. <laughs> I went a little heavy with it, trying to hide the, the dark circles. Uh, so yeah, just ignore that. But this is what my eyeshadow looks like. So it's pretty... I just put like shimmers on my eyelids and it's nice. Like I said, it's it's not a bad eyeshadow uh, palette. It's not the greatest eyeshadow palette. It's just a like a good drugstore palette. I did get quite a bit of fallout, but because I'm not wearing any foundation, it was easy to just wipe away. Um, so yeah, this is my makeup look for today. Let me show you. Okay. Quick room tour, because we got to get out of here. Uh, big bed, couch, <laughs> TV, spot to sit down and take your shoes off, Bye. table, oh, big mirror, uh, no AC. These guys just had fans, but it actually it turned out fine because the fans did cool us off quite a bit. A little kitchenette, sink, fridge, microwave. Uh, coffee maker, closet, the uh, bathroom. So yeah, pretty basic room. It was clean. That's all we care about. Uh, definitely very pricey, but it is peak season. So I guess it's pricey everywhere. Uh, but yeah, overall, it was fine. Oh, and it had an extra room. I forgot. Look at this, extra room and another fan. Very spacious. Okay, let's go, because we are running late. Let's get out of here, guys. Okay, so we're just gonna check out Cameron Falls. It's just right here. Looks like it's inside a town, so. Yeah, so, yeah, gonna check that out because it looks very beautiful. So we'll check back in in a minute. We'll check back in in a minute. We're just walking up to Cameron Falls very easy to get to. Waterton Town is literally just down there and this is the parking and you can probably even hear the falls they're just like right here. Come on baby! And here it is! Wow! Look at that! Oh, 
Oh, and there's somebody down there. Looks like they're fishing. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, and there's, oh yeah, there's, so there's a trail. So it looks like, yeah, there's like a trail. And then you can just walk up and look at the waterfalls from up top. Yeah, very beautiful. Okay, so I just finished my breakfast, our uh, daily muffin intake for the day. Uh, and now we're just gonna walk around town on the shoreline where the lake is. So we're gonna do that instead of um, doing the trail going up the waterfall, just cause we gotta go uphill and most likely we'll have to carry our one-year-old. So yeah, we'll just do the, the walk here along the lake. Let me touch this water. Oh, uh, let's not fall because that'll be embarrassing. All right, it is so hot right now. I checked my phone, it says it's only plus 22, but it feels way hotter than that. Oh, this water's nice and cold. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be a very hot day today. We're all lathered up with sunscreen and uh, also bug spray because yesterday I forgot to spray on bug spray and oh my goodness we were okay during the day but once it started to cool off the <gasps> mosquitoes all came out ew and a bug just <laughs> a bug just went in my mouth gross <laughs> to the lake beautiful and my son's doing what he he loves doing the most throwing rocks in the water oh. but yeah look at that princess. princess peach princess i'm princess peach he's mario i'm princess peach our youngest is luigi and papa is bowser <laughs> those are our Rolls. Very beautiful. Help, help! Help, help! Um, Mario puts me in the lava. And then there's some houses here. These guys are super lucky. They got a great spot. So yeah, our I think our plan for today is just hang out here by the lake for as long as possible. Then we're gonna go um, grab some food probably around maybe like one o'clock uh, and then we'll walk around town again get some ice cream and then we will I don't know I think maybe after that we might head uh, home there's other stops too that we want to do on the way home but um but yeah I think that will be it for today so yep that, that will be the end of uh, our little a little road trip but oh it's been so nice we definitely have to come back and stay a couple more days because it's been fun uh oh mummy's needed okay bye
we are walking up to my dream home look at this thing look at this oh my goodness this is beautiful it's a beautiful house and this is their view Okay, so we're gonna have lunch at the Lakeside Chop House and I'm going to get the Buddha bowl with grilled chicken so I can share with my one-year-old. And I also got a pomegranate mojito, which I will not be sharing with my one-year-old. That is for me. And actually, I haven't tried it yet. Let's try it on camera. Mm -hmm. mm. It's nice. Not the best I've ever had, but it's nice. Okay, we are walking to the marina to go check out the boats. And the food was good. My poke bowl was great. It hit the spot. I was in desperate need of some veggies. <laughs> so yeah, that was good. And uh, my drinks, the mojito was okay. The Caesar, that one was good. I like that one. Ooh, look at all the boats. Oh, it'd be so nice to own a boat. Alright, so we are walking back to the car and we're gonna say goodbye to Waterton. It's been fun. Thank you for the memories. And we're probably gonna stop a little town on the way home. Uh, I forget what it was called. Cl Claire's home, I think. Claire's home. Uh, and we might have ice cream there because we need a little break from the heat and I'm pretty tired. So. We're gonna sit in the car with AC and that's it. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys when we get to Claire's home. So I think this is our last stop. We are in Nanton and we're gonna check out the candy store because we hear they have ice cream and also they have candy. So let's look. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, look at all this. Thank you.
little bit. And this is our ice cream. I got blast off. This is oob. Groovy oob. Groovy oob. I can't even say that. Gro groovy oob. <laughs> and what'd you get, babe? Cotton candy. Cotton candy. We're in like the same color story. Pink, purple. I was going to get blast off because I seen his. Yeah. And I seen this right next to it. Yep, so we're just going to have this, and after this, we're going to go take a look at the airplanes maybe, and then it's home time. Hey guys, so this is the following day. We got in yesterday night, and we were all pretty tired, so um, we just unpacked the car and then tried to get to bed as quickly as possible. So I didn't get a chance to film that little haul I had mentioned earlier, so I'm going to do it. Today, uh, I have my little bag of goodies here, and so I'll quickly show you what I got. I didn't get much, so this will be short, but uh, uh, first I'll show you my candy because I did buy some candy from that super awesome candy store we stopped at in Nanton. We had ice cream there, and actually the ice cream we had was very sweet, even for me. Like, I wasn't able to finish it because you know, halfway through eating the ice cream, I started to feel my stomach churning. <laughs> and we were still an hour away from Calgary, so I thought, okay, I cannot have any stomach issues while in the car. So, um, yeah, I could not finish the ice cream. My husband also complained that it was way too sweet. It was like, the flavor was like sugar. <laughs> um, my son ate his, but I definitely was like oh my gosh that's way too much sugar for him I made him drink lots of water and today we've just been eating vegetables <laughs> uh, to try and make up for yesterday but anyways after saying all that here is my pile of candy so um, I just got uh, an assortment of these gummies which look really nice I'm gonna save these for our next road trip uh, then I got these Pop Rocks because these are always fun, especially for my oldest. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to do this with him because I think he'll really like these. I, I don't know if he's ever had these before. He might have had them once before, but I can't remember. Then we've got... Uh, oh, and I have three of these. Oh, there it is. Then we got some Kool-Aid because nostalgia. Um, so I got the watermelon, pink lemonade, and blue raspberry. Um, so we will try those out at some point. So we'll try those. And then these I get anytime I go to a candy store and these are available, I will grab these because I love these. This is one of my favorite uh, candy. The Love Hearts. They fizz and they're really, really good. Really like these. And then I got a pack of Hubba Bubba because my son... Uh, wanted to try it so he already had one uh, and then even though we did not eat at the Prince of Wales <laughs> hotel restaurant because it was way too expensive um, I did stop in their gift shop and I bought this t-shirt uh, I usually like to pick up a shirt from the places that we we go and visit so I picked this one up just like a very simple t-shirt these were on sale they were buy one get one 50% off so I bought uh, one for my oldest son uh, and this is the one I got the one for my son he already wore it and it's in the dirty clothes so I'm not gonna go and get it but it was cute take my word for it uh, this one says Canadian Heritage 1985 Waterton Canada vintage apparel and then lastly okay so if either of my brothers are watching this Please stop watching right now because the next item is a Christmas gift for, for one of you guys. I don't want to say names because I don't know if they would feel comfortable with me saying their name on camera even though like how would you know but whatever. Again, if either of my brothers are watching this, stop watching right now. Most likely they're not watching because I don't think either of my brothers watch my channel but just in case, don't spoil your Christmas present, okay? Okay, I'm gonna show it now, all right? Okay, so for one of my brothers, I got this really, I think, cool mug. Uh, he has mentioned before that this is one of his favorite paintings, uh, Klimt's The Kiss. 
and this is what it looks like. So the box itself is really pretty. And this is what the cup looks like. So I personally love big cups. So I hope that he does too. And uh, yeah, we just have the image of the kiss on here. And I just thought it was really pretty looking. And when I saw it, I thought of him. So I bought it. I know he probably has so many mugs. Um, but hey, here you will have one more. So you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that is it for my little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We had so much fun on our trip. Uh, my boys had so much fun and I got so much joy just watching them revel and you know, being in the outdoors and being somewhere new. So yeah, I'm so excited for our next road trip, which uh, will be Radium. And we will actually be staying there for two nights this time. So that'll be nice because I feel like we won't be rushing as much to, you know, see things. So yeah, that will be coming in the near future. Keep your eyes peeled for that. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, please take care and bye.